the Dutch uh, organization of the Utrecht Marathon was uh, basically making a, a large difference between the prize money that they would offer to a Dutch winner when compared to a um, to an international winner. So they would pay to a Dutch winner 10,000 euros, they would pay to an international winner 100 euros. And basically that was sort of a, a simplified policy to make sure that a Dutchman would win the race. The real big marathons will not do that. They will not punish for excellence simply because they want an excellent marathon. And an excellent marathon simply means that they need to have East African runners there. So um, my hopes are not that bad for the future for Kenyan and Ethiopian runners. Mm -hmm. I think the real issue comes in the second and third um, level of marathons like the one in Utrecht where um, they may start to protect European runners. Uh, I think that's a um, um, deplorable development and I think it's a real shame for Europe or whatever country is, is uh, undertaking to do so. They want to support the development of Dutch runners, which in my opinion is fine. So they chose not to offer starting money and not to offer bonus money, which I think is also fine. But that makes it a level playground, whoever gets there would need to get the same prize money. It will happen more often, I think. It's a bit of a tough game, and I think it always happens where people feel that they're not that strong, so it's a sign of weakness. If you organize an international uh, marathon, you need to offer similar prize arrangements to, to, similar, to similar winners, regardless of their nationality. So that's what I decided to do. I decided to sort of stop the debate, but just make my pledge to offer um, uh, to... to, uh, to um, make up the difference. The number two of the race in Utrecht was a Kenyan and uh, Mutai Keep Career. Um, he uh, finished second by 36 seconds of the, the Dutch winner. The conditions under which he had to run were um, very different from the conditions for the Dutch uh, runners. Um, he didn't get a professional entry so he had to start among the recreational runners. Um, he wasn't offered or he didn't get any drink support after 30 uh, kilometers. Um, and the camera crew um, didn't follow him when he was in the lead between 30 and 41 kilometers. So that was really strange. It really made clear that it was only a, a Dutch battle, not an international battle at all. So I've said I won't give out a second prize, but I will support John's career. And I will give him half the prize that I would uh, hand out if he would have won the race. One of my main reasons was to support international competition. And I think the Kenyans and the Ethiopians do a fabulous job running marathons around the world. And I, I continue to support that.